We uh, worked on the roof rack this weekend, installing the solar panels and getting them hooked up. You can see the, uh, the combiner box kind of here. Uh, it's also going to be the mount for our uh, Wi-Fi antenna and uh, GPS. And the, uh, the, the uh, connection goes straight through the roof and inside underneath that box. We've got four 100 watt uh, Renergy solar panels and they are hooked up in uh, in series. The front two are in series and these other two are in series and then they run down uh, in parallel to the uh, solar charge controller. We'll take a peek inside at that now. So those uh, solar wires come down through this grommet. The, um, the combiner box is right above it here. These are actually the, uh, the bolts that are holding the combiner box down. Uh, so the wires come in through this uh, rubber grommet across the ceiling. They're going to go down behind the refrigerator and underneath the, uh, the bench here and they work their way over to our electrical system. I'll move over there next. So the solar wires come in from the ceiling up here, across here, down behind what will be the refrigerator cabinet, under this bench across here, in through the top here and pop out right here into the bottom of the solar disconnect. This disconnect switch has the ability to shut off both the positive and negative by flipping this to the off position. When it's in the on position, the power is transmitted up into the PV side of the solar charge controller. Um, it converts the power from the solar panels into current that is needed by the batteries. Uh, so it takes 40 some odd volts and uh, converts it to something around 14 volts, depending on the state of charge of the batteries. And then it pumps that out through this um, plus side of the, uh, the battery. And it goes from here, down in behind the panel, to a battery protect, which is mounted in behind um, the Lynx distributor down below here. When the BMS says it's okay to charge the batteries, it allows the power to go through the battery protect and up into the Lynx distributor. If the BMS determines that the batteries are out of uh, condition for charging, i.e. too high or too low or out of temperature, um, it it opens the battery protect so the power can't go through and into the Lynx distributor and then into the batteries. So in addition to the roof rack and the solar panels this weekend, we um, also started putting some panels in place. So the, uh, the front panel that's going to be behind the shower uh, has been put in place hopefully for the last time. Uh, this upper ceiling panel, it's been insulated behind there and installed hopefully for the last time. And we also ran a wire and hooked up the Max Air fan and installed the shroud. So hopefully all of that is permanent. So I got my head popped up through the skylight. So I would be standing on what will be the bed. Uh, these are the three solar panels down the driver's side and the one solar panel over the uh, passenger seat. This area here is set up for a deck, whether we do it or not will be <laughs> a question of how easy it is to get up on top of the roof while standing on the bed um, and whether we can afford the extra weight. So as I was saying earlier, these two solar panels are connected together in series and the one back here and the one up the front are connected in series and then they are combined in the combiner box to be in parallel and they pass their power down through the end of the, the uh, underside of the combiner box right up on top of this uh, rib here there's a hole and this combiner box will also be our mount for our um, gps antenna which is the wi-fi and the uh, cellular antenna as well This uh, roof rack was all built out of 8020, and I did do a short video of how I connected the 8020 uh, first rail to the van through the pre-drilled holes that come on the van. 
So on top of that, I've got five uh, laterals that cross the, the van from side to side, and they're held in with, um, there's a, a drill clearance hole, slide the nut into the 80, uh, the bolt into the 8020 and the nut into the other 8020 and then they're bolted together. And then this rail is um, a three quarter inch by three inch 8020 and these are all end tapped so each of the laterals have um, a bolt that's tapped into them and this slides in over top of that and the solar panels as well have preloaded with, uh, with connectors as well. So I cursed it a little bit when I said that ceiling panel and that wall panel and that other ceiling panel would never have to come down because we realized that it would be so cool if we flesh mounted that light. That's a factory light that used to light up the back of the cargo bay when you open the door and there's three of them. There's one there, there'll be one that's kind of just hanging here right now um, and this is what was happening over there. And there's one at the very back over top of the over top of the back doors but we thought that it would make a great entrance light so when you use your remote control and open this door it'll light up that stoop so we had to take the ceiling panel back down to route a little hole uh, to put that in flush and now we're having coffee say hi <laughs>